Hello, it's a pleasure to be with you uh, in this Atlantic Initiative. I've gotten a top 10 list of questions uh, and another top 10 if I can manage to get to them. So I will immediately uh, address some of the issues that all of you have uh, sent in. Uh, they're great questions uh, and I will post short answers to each one of them. Let me start with the first question. Does NATO feel responsible for security just in the NATO region or now throughout the whole world? It's a very good question because it's about what NATO is about. Uh, NATO's center of gravity does not change. It is the Atlantic. Uh, it is the Allies. NATO's job is to preserve the security of NATO member states, not to be a global policeman, not to replace the United Nations. But, uh, and this isn't just a talking point, it's the truth, and anybody can see it, to protect the security of NATO allies today, we can't just do it from within NATO borders. We have to also be able to go out, deal with problems before they hit us too hard, uh, to build cooperation, to build security so that we avoid crises happening at all. And we have to do that with a network of partners around the world, uh, countries and international organizations like the UN and the EU, but countries as far as Australia or New Zealand, South Korea, uh, Japan, and as close to home as Sweden, all have to be part of the team. So it is a, a, an organization that has a global engagement, but that is transatlantic and is about protecting the security of NATO member states and NATO citizens. 